Welcome back to Let's Play Dagapa 2. Just hearing the piano there, just like, ah, I feel sleepy. I, I freaking, it's, uh, nearly half past four in the afternoon while I'm recording this, and I woke up around about maybe 9 a.m., and I, like, fell asleep around about 4 or 5 a.m., and the stupid thing was, I was originally trying to sleep by, like, freaking midnight, but, you know, you're just like, I'm more of a night person, so I just lie in bed, just like, I feel tired, and then seconds pass, and my eyes might as well be open the entire time, because then I'm suddenly wide awake. It's weird. Well, anyways, let's continue with this scene. Since the script wasn't finished, we kept repeating the same scenes over and over. There's no way I can concentrate anymore. We'll finish here for today. Hotane <coughs> groaned disappointedly. I already memorized my lines, so did you, right? <coughs> then we don't need to practice anymore until the rest of the script is finished. I closed the script. <coughs> Otone tilted her head as she flipped through the pages. I don't know, Anzu seemed to be still struggling. Otone talked as if she was talking about a TV show's cliffhanger for the following week. Anzu's amazing if she can draw Otone for a, uh, this far into the story. I was actually curious about the rest of the story myself, and it was on the minds of everyone in my class. Well, we'll look forward to it until the script is finished. <laughs> it's funny, because we pretty much said the opposite. It's like, it should have like a bittersweet ending. But don't you think that's too cliche? You know, true, even if it's cliche, happy ending, why not? But you can't always like have every story have the same kind of happy ending. You've gotta like balance it a little, some endings have to end on a bit of sweet note that doesn't leave you just like I shouldn't have read that story. That story's ruined by that terrible ending, but more of that ending. <laughs> so teary-eyed, I can't believe it. Rather than fucking asshole offer, you ruined the entire story, you son of a bitch. As I said in the previous part, an ending could completely destroy a very good story. You could have a very good story, but if the ending just can possibly freaking just ruin the whole thing, because... The ending's the big payoff. Once you get to the ending, is there closure to it, or is it just kind of rushed, or just like ends in a really disappointing way? She looked at me directly, with such serious eyes. Uh, I guess it's true that Joy's conclusion is better than a bitter ending. You know, like an example of a nice kind of ending, like in, like anime-wise, like shonen kind of ones because they usually tend to either drag on forever or end kind of like rushed or just seem unfinished an example of one done well for an ending was full metal alchemist that one that one actually had close to it it felt right endings need to you know get that kind of bit of closure at the end otherwise it just it feels lacking uh, yeah, we said. She smiled. I suppose a bittersweet ending would be more like a kind of realistic ending sometimes, really. I mean, sure, you can still have a happy ending that's very realistic and all. But, you know, like, endings that end, like, say you got, like, a guy and a girl and one of them likes the other. And like the story's kind of building up and then they just part ways in the end or something. That is depressing, but kind of maybe realistic depending how it, the relationship goes throughout the story. You know what I'm talking about here? I don't know. Okay. 
I stood up and stretched. Otone put her apron on and went to the kitchen. Another happy day at Yoshino household. story I've mentioned I've been writing but haven't wrote much of in a long time I'd actually like I've got like an idea for how it's the ending would be would go but I haven't exactly gotten even close to that yet cuz still a lot to go till we get to that point but like I like I said I'd like to have in and like make it into a visual novel or something you know I wouldn't be like the typical visual novel where it's like, okay, I'm the protagonist catching for all these girls or something. No, there wouldn't be any of that. For one thing, the freaking protagonist is a woman. I'm not like, no high school freaking scenario thing. The woman's in her 20s and just like uncovering her past in her old house. And like, it's just, well, it's kind of horror kind of one. I don't really know how to describe it. Like I said in the previous part, the antagonist and all that. And like, it's basically like freaking Project Zero fail frame kind of level stuff, in a way. So it's quite different to the standard visual novels where it's just like, okay, and protagonist can choose from this girl, this girl, that girl, or that girl, that girl, and all that. So basically, I'd have for endings would just be like dead end endings, like some choices will lead to a bad end, and if you pick the choices right, you'll either get the bad ending, which isn't just a simple dead end kind of ending, or you'll get the normal ending, like the decent ending, or you get the best ending, just three different endings on just a bunch of dead end endings, you know? That's how I do it. Uh, uh. <laughs> it always surprised me that we have big mouths even when the show is tiny mouths and then they mysteriously become bigger than our entire face. Otone left joyfully from next to me. It's true though, look how tiny their mouths are, but that mouth could go from ass eyes to... It's weird how anime characters work. Yume was walking a few steps ahead of us with her back street. What a peaceful sight when going to school in the morning. By the way, it's so cold these days. Man, the view is nothing but spring though. The cherry blossom trees as on our way to school were proudly in full bloom as usual. I've had enough of it though. <laughs> I cowered to be because of the cold northerly wind blowing through me. And she came close to me. She took my arm. What do you think you're doing? I felt something soft and warm on my left arm. Her nice smell was teasing my instincts. That's true, but... The aura Yume was emitting change. <laughs> what an innocent smile. She had such an innocent take on everything she did. It's almost like she was defenseless. <laughs> then we find out it's very different and that she, she actually like thinks she's actually got a dirty mind or something. You're just like, wow! Didn't expect that now, did we? I was thinking about if it's okay to still be doing this. <laughs> well, you know, I'm becoming the man and when I feel something soft on my left arm. Uh, part of my body reacts by itself while completely ignoring what my mind is thinking. <laughs> she gave me a look which told me she had no idea what I was talking about. Well, such a reaction was expected from Otone. She did some pretty bold stuff without realizing it. Things that surprised me. Of course she did some of those things because I was her brother. Come to think of it, I never heard of any rumors about Otone before. As popular as she is, there should be a rumor or two about her love life. 
とも。死んだら歩いてると遅刻するよ。ユメ who was walking ahead of us turned around unhappily。まだ大丈夫だよ。ほら、ユメちゃんも一緒にくっついていこう。Are we gonna? Are we just gonna be arm in arm, just like we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of ours? What? I'm not even cold. That was the late. Wow! Otone grabbed Yume's arm without saying a word. Whoops! She smiled brightly. With Otone in the middle, Yume and I were at both sides. <laughs> we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz! Sounded like an old woman there for a second. What the fuck? Otone started to hum joyfully. <sighs> for some reason, Yume looked at me like this was my fault. Give it up. Nobody can stop Otone when she gets like this. I told her with a look. Well, you say that, but have you really, you know, gone out of your way to, like, stop? You're just like, hey, 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 we don't need to do that. You're just like, no, no, and you just casually walk away. You're just like, no. You're just like, but are we going on and on? Just like, no, not today, no. You're just, just, just start walking off and just like, I don't know. I don't even know where it's going to that. Human let out a small size as if she'd given up. That's the thing with a lot of things I say. I'll be saying something and then halfway through it, just like, I don't know where I was going with that, you know? It was a peaceful image for the morning. It's just mix shit up as you go, and sometimes you realize that you just can't think of anywhere else to go with it, and just like, ah, screw it, forget it, didn't. forget I said anything, kind of thing, you know? You're halfway through saying something random, and then you just can't think of anything else to say to continue it. It was a peaceful image for the morning. I thought it was going to be the choices there for the second. When we were walking to our next class, Wataru started to talk with a serious look. He held up his fist with a smile. Huh? What? What are you saying all of a sudden? He must have saw you walking like you were off to see the wizard. What Taru was being too weird. Dude, are you stupid or something? I mean, I'm stupid myself. You not realize why he's pissed at you? Also, what's a big noise or whatever? We don't live together. It's not as good as you think、uh, we're really like siblings. There's that face again. Why was he protesting so loudly? The image in his mind was simply an illusion. That's because I'm the protagonist, so are you. Huh? I'm totally lost. What's gone into Wataru today? He was on a different planet. Isn't he always? And Was he talking about Amikaze? Oh, come on! It's just been like, what, one scene and that's it? Like, three scenes totally if you include. No. Okay, maybe four. But one of them was very brief. You haven't really had any interaction, really, so what the hell are you talking about? How can you call our relationship close? Then she's very quiet at school, then. He declared clearly. Indeed, Amikaze's hatred towards humans was fierce. I only talked to her because of particular circumstances, but it's never shown. She didn't like me, or should I say. 
She actively disliked me. She's like, what's so appealing about you? What do you have that I don't have? Well, a couple of things, but the most important thing is, uh, protagonist. What? I'm the protagonist and you are a secondary character. You will never have a chance with any of these girls unless they feel sorry for you enough to actually give you one of them. Which never happens. Or maybe it does. Well, actually, you do get cases like that happening to some, but it's kinda uncommon. Anaka's like that with everyone, though. Uh -uh. How so? Anaka. Well, that's simply because... Did he point to that me? You notice, like, something that's about, like, these characters, protagonists of visual novels? All these girls fall for him, and you know what trait they all have in common? They're oblivious idiots. They never realize that girls are interested in them. It's just, why is it always that type of character? And you know, another thing, the most common protagonist always has spiky freaking hair. It always looks the damn fucking same. Jeez. I think even this protagonist might have spiky hair. Or maybe just... Actually... Hold on a sec, I'm gonna check actually. Okay, right, so this is what he looks like by... I looks at this on the Wikipedia page here. So... Yeah, typical protagonist freaking hair there, isn't it? May not be spiky, but it is kind of a default kind of look, isn't it? I mean, they never really bothered designing a male character. But anyway, back to the novel. Okay. So yeah. That's my random rambling. Hopefully the last of the rambling for this recording. Let's actually focus here. If he puts it like that, it might start to get hopeful. I'm just kind of like, as you were saying, I just eyes closed, just lightly nodding. It's like, yeah, 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 whatever you say. See what? You know, maybe that's the attraction. Maybe it's because he's a oblivious idiot that he's hard to get or some shit. Just like, it's a challenge. Try to get this oblivious idiot to notice you. Please stop saying something like that with, seri with a serious look. Please stop slapping my shoulder while you smile. Wait. You're totally wrong. What are you thinking is absolutely wrong? Besides, you got plenty of girlfriends too. Yeah. Besides? But Taro said half jokingly and half seriously. Well, he always talked openly about how he thought Coco was cute. Just like, oh, you don't want to freaking screw around too much. Might run into a little school days. <laughs> you don't want to be like that, do you? Then Wataru laughed joyfully. Now that would be a twist if they pulled the school days. Just like some of you that, if there's even any of you that have never even heard of school days, I have no idea what I mean by that. School days is, uh, 
No anime, visual novel, manga. I've only I've read the manga actually. It's not as bad as the anime was, but still fucked up ending. And that's basically it. It has a pretty messed up ending. And a protagonist who just can't keep it in his pants. Though he was a bit different in the manga version, if I recall, he actually did keep it in his pants a bit. You know, School Days seems like the type of uh, anime that I just be like, okay, anyone thinking of uh, cheating on their girlfriend or something like that, show them this anime and see if they'll rethink it. I could totally imagine that. Uh, screw it. Wasn't there like a cooking contest? There were three lunch boxes on a desk. Mayuki Senpai was so excited by the three lunch boxes in front of her. You know, like there are the character routes for this this version of the visual novel I think is you got Coco, uh, Anzu, you've got, man, I can't even remember, Robo Chick, I've already forgotten her name, it's hard to remember characters that don't appear frequently, so there's those three, and I think the two sisters, I think those are all of them, I'm not sure, maybe there's one that I just can't think of off the top of my head, but I think the sisters ones are actually unlocked, later on or something. Maybe I'm wrong, I have no idea. I didn't really check the walkthrough properly. Because we're doing this just by random choices for the first go around. So imagine if like, paying too much attention to the sisters ends up getting you a neutral ending or something. Just like, well, I, I didn't see that coming. Wait, now that I think about it, I think uh, Robo Girl and you may had the uh, on the walk for I think I remember the first choice in the game for, to get those routes had to be to pick a haunted house. Maybe that's why we never see them on the choice things. Maybe that's why. And that's why we only get the yellow free because those can be you can get those routes by choosing the puppet show. That's my guess. <laughs> You know, actually, is Nanaka, like, I don't know which choice you are to be affected by, because you don't even appear on the, like, school map or the island map, wherever I'm rambling. Yay! Yay! Now that I think about it, Nanaka suddenly reminds me of, uh, uh, what was the name again? Damn it, I'm always forgetting names, as, but, what was the name? Ah, uh, was it Sagara or something like that? You know, pink head, purple head girl from, uh, Little Busters. Just like, okay, so we got a vo one voice actor from Little Busters, and we got a girl that reminds me of another girl from Little Busters. This is remind me of Lil Busters. Is whatever. The, again, just like I'm just rambling on, and then I just kind of forget, just like run out of things to say. It's like I don't know what's going with that. That was an unusual clap. The knock on out an body with smiles on their faces. What is this? By the way, why are Yume and Nanaka here? Didn't she just stay? You will be judges. Yume asked in astonishment without knowing what was going on. はいはい。Shall we make a rule where we don't point out whose uh, lunch is whose so they won't be like biased and pick one accordingly? 
2位には1ポイントそしてビリには0ポイントねで最も点数の低かった人は罰ゲームとして最も点数の高かった人の言うことを何でも聞くと言うペンルティゲームはあ、you didn't mention anything about a penalty game yesterday. なんなん勝負ごとにはやっぱり罰ゲームがないとね。Anytime I hear a character or person say b a t s u game, which is basically mean penalty, penalty game, I think that one Japanese show that always does those. I've watched it in a long ass time, but I remember watching some of them, like they'd have like 24 hour freaking penalty games. Where they have to not laugh, it was hilarious. I think the last one I saw of it was. I think the spy one was the last one I watched. I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure that was. I can't remember what year it was, but it definitely wasn't the last one, though. But what if Mayuki Senpai wins and I lose? Or what if it's the other way around? That was too scary to even imagine! Nani, Nani? Ototoku wa koko ni kite ni ge goshi? No, that's what I cooked. No, he probably didn't. Yeah! These faces, man. Those eyes, the cat like mouth, what the hell? I don't care, but what about you, Ozone? Ah! Are you sure if you lose, you have to listen to the winner? No, I won't. Damn, there's no way out. Mayuki sent by grinned and licked her lips. She's totally targeting her prey. Uh, well, uh. Why do I feel like I've already lost? I don't feel like I'll be able to win at all. I feel like Keiichi and Higurashi unable to win these damn games that everyone else comes up with. <laughs> Please stop whispering while making sure that I can hear you. How dare you say whatever you feel like just because it's about me! Okay, okay, fine, that's perfectly fine with me. Well, sudden change. I end up complying after all. Thus, the curtain on my fate went up. Mayuki Senpai exclaimed. Oh, come on, this should have totally been a sound effect of some sort. We heard contra. Testing applause from each judge. My heart is pounding for a different reason than yours. I thought my lunch came out pretty well. Seeing Nanaka and Yume's reactions, I think it did quite well. However, Atane and Mayuki Senpai's lunches were just as good. I tasted a little, but they were almost perfect. I was in a disadvantaged position. I'll see you next time! No! But wait, actually, let me just check time. Yeah! <laughs> Cliffhanger! Cliffhanger! But I'm actually gonna continue recording, so I'll get to find out who it is, but you'll have to wait until the next one! <laughs>